My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. Not only is this probably the world's prettiest 64 Falcon Futura, I think it's one of the prettiest cars, period. I don't care if it has a Ford or Chevy or Chrysler emblem on it. This car is gorgeous, completely restored. I have a lot to tell you about it. If you go to volocars.com, that's where you can read all the specs, study about 100 pictures, get the price, not only on this one, but we have a few hundred collector cars all for sale at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, you'll be notified as new ones come out. But right now, this is looking pretty and the top's down. When you join me, let's go for a spin. I mean, it's just one of those cars. I don't know if the camera in your screen is capturing half the beauty, but here in person, it's just a knockout. That color and the interior and the wheels, everything about it. Every person that walks up to the car, the first thing out of their mouth, wow, it's a gorgeous color. So anyway, underneath the car is real solid, and I have a photo album of the uh, restoration process, the whole car taken down, taken apart. Anyway, under the car is real solid. The front end's been all rebuilt. It's got disc brakes up front. Uh, the brake system's been gone through. Great sounding dual exhaust system. It's a C4 Mustang automatic transmission with a TCI uh, torque converter. It's got a good punch to the shifts. Um, nice cruiser gear in the rear end. <clears throat> the paint is, like I said, outstanding. The color is incredible. There is a scratch down low right here. But this thing is laser straight. I know I say cars are straight, and they are, but this thing is straight. You can look in the reflection, and it's like a mirror. The metal flake is laid out real nice. The gaps are spot on. The side moldings are a stainless. They look like they've been chrome. So they're either polished like chrome or they've been chrome plated. Emblem sparkles, the mirrors are new. This has been polished. The windshield's crystal clear. These are polished. Look at the gaps, just spot on. This is new, bumper's new. The top of the grill right here is shiny and bright and that's what you see. But down here, the chrome is like flaking off. This, this. It's all one grill, but it, it looks like this is new and that's old. I don't know why. I didn't even notice that until I inspected the car. When you're looking at it, I think it's fine. Hood ornaments new, the correct antenna, Magnum 500 wheels with the Mercury center caps, red. Uh, just beautiful tire and wheel combination. It's got a mirror on this side too. It's a tan hearts cloth top. Very classy when the top is up. Uh, that's a nice upgrade compared to the vinyl. That's sweet. Door jams painted beautifully, new weather strips, sill plates are shiny. Inside the trunk, this whole panel's new, the bumper, tail lights, emblems, all of that's beautiful shape. It's been all boxed and upholstered. That's that's like the Falcon uh, trim that matches the trim. That's on the door panels too. Bottom of the trunk lid and the jam are painted as slick as the car, and it has these upholstered inserts. Uh, it has a new weather strip, carpeted floor. Beautiful trunk. I like it when they box and upholster them like that. The inside's just as classy. Two-tone, uh, really nice, soft uh, upholstery, really good cushions. Uh, the factory center console has been reupholstered. It has a low car floor shifter with the leather boot that's real classy, an upgraded soft carpet, embroidered floor mats, disc brakes in front. I don't know if I mentioned that. Ford 302 motor, and it's got some giddy up and go. I drove this car home, cruising along. You know, it's not a Chevelle. I wasn't really getting on it, but when I did, it surprised me. It's, that thing just snapped and took off, like holy cow. So it's a 302 motor. It's been bored 30 over. It's got J&E pistons and special rings. Uh, they're dart heads, racing heads. 
Um, so it sits and idles. It runs like a regular car, but it packs a punch. Uh, Edelbrock intakes painted Ford blue. It's got a big giant dual feed holly carb that's been plated, uh, electric choke, complete MSD ignition system, the wires, uh, everything. Chrome alternator. Seat belts front and back. The door panels are all done. And like I said, is that Falcon style uh, trim inserted into the door panels, suede on top of the armrest. The, the metal around the doors and the dash is painted just as slick as the car. All this trim across the dash is new. The AM radio, you turn it on and it's stereo. It's, it's converted, the guts are converted to a stereo. Just classy. Uh, it does have a gauge cluster neatly installed below the dash with a mini tachometer. You look in the glove box, that's brand new. Uh, back in the engine compartment, everything on the front of the motor is new. It does have the fan uh, and shroud and aluminum radiator. And it also has a giant electric fan in front, almost the size of the radiator. Everything's all painted the same color. It's got headers. It is upgraded to a dual reservoir master cylinder. They were single back then. Uh, it has power steering, uh, real nice throttle cables, upgraded uh, dipstick to the transmission. The batteries all bolted down properly. So beautiful in there too. I think it's that time where we're gonna start it up. I love this car. Again, I, I don't care if you like Ford, Chevys or whatever, this thing's beautiful. There is a chrome bar that's supposed to stick out of this visor so far. It's on this one, but this side's missing. I don't know why. And I gotta get the keys out of my pocket and we'll fire it up. Walnut steering wheel, power top. at home it, one of those one hand up on the seat one on the wheel it cruises it, it steers and stops does everything right it'll turn heads like no other it's a sweetheart It's not coughing and sputtering. I heard a little belt squeal for a second there. Um, I don't know if that goes away when it's warm or we can check that out. But. Gorgeous car. You will get compliments. You'll, you'll be proud to own it. Every minute you're behind that wheel driving it or even standing next to it, you're going to be a proud owner. Go to volocars.com. Plenty of ways on there to contact us. And... Any questions you have about the car, the process, shipping, financing, we can help with all of that. If you enjoy the videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, and you'll be the first to see the next one that comes out. Thanks for watching.